Let's talk about some of the connectors used for connecting your RGB Inferno or Blaze LED strip light. The first and most basic connector is this connector here. This is a snap connector. You can open your lid. You'll see that you've got your color-coded wires coming in and that there's four chrome pins on the inside. Your LED strip will fit within those. They'll slide underneath. One of the things you want to make sure of is that you have your voltage, uh, which is going to be marked by a little plus mark with the number 12V, and that that's uh, going into the appropriate wire. If we were to insert it this way, it's backwards because the blue wire would actually be going in there. So this connector would need to be flipped around. You want to make sure that you peel back the adhesive backing before you slip it under. You'll just make sure that you just give it a slight little wiggle back and forth until it's securely underneath all of the chrome pins. Uh, once you have it done, you can snap your door closed and now you've got your connection and you can move on to your next one. In some cases though, you're going to need to be able to lengthen the distance between the connector and the LED strip light. In order to do that, you can take your scissors and you can cut the connector in half. Now that gives you two ends. You can take a pair of wire strippers. Uh, this style wire stripper allows you to strip more than one wire at a time by inserting the wires across and just pulling. And now you can see all four wires were stripped equally. You can then peel these back and take a piece of your uh, RGB connection wire with your uh, lever nut connectors and you can then add wire to this and lengthen it to go out uh, to the distance that you need. In some cases, however, you're going to need to be able to connect your strip light to your LED amplifier, which we talked about earlier. Now the LED amplifier, what that does is that allows you to take the signal that's coming from your control box and it adds power to your strip and then amplifies that signal uh, for long LED runs. You would use an LED amplifier in runs over 32 feet, inserting one every 16 and a half feet or 5 meters. We're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. There's going to be a couple of different steps involved to this, um, but it's pretty basic. First, we're going to take our strip and we're going to cut it. And we're going to have our LED amplifier spliced between this strip. So this would be 16 and a half feet coming in from the controller and then this would be uh, going out uh, and continuing on down our run. You'll notice that the LED amplifier has a red and black wire coming off the bottom section of it and that red and black wire is to add power uh, to the amplifier as well as to the strip that's uh, continuing on down your run. You'll want to make sure that your power supply is sized per the number of feet that you have in your LED strip that you're continuing on with. In order to, to make the connection for this LED amplifier, you need to have one of these uh, pin connectors that plugs into it that's connected to your strip. So we're going to show you how to connect that four pin connector to your strip. And we're going to do that using uh, our soldering tools. You want to make sure that your, your strip has the copper dots exposed after you've cut it. It doesn't matter which way you flip this around uh, as long as the pins just line up over the top uh, of the strip copper dots themselves. So let's go ahead and solder this on. Let's take a moment to discuss some of the items that we'll need in order to give a good solder connection. First you're going to want to have a good soldering iron. This is a solder station. You want to make sure that your soldering iron can be dialed up to at least 450 degrees Celsius. Next, you'll need a brass sponge for cleaning the tip of your soldering iron. So as you make your uh, each solder, you'll push it into the brass and then it cleans the tip making it uh, shiny and avoids the solder sticking to it. Then you'll need a decent rosin core solder such as this one. This is a .093 diameter solder. So these will be the components you need to get a good solder joint. Okay, now that you have a close-up view and you can see uh, in detail how we're going to solder this connector on, we're going to show you just a quick easy tip in order to make your uh, solder connection go smoothly. 
First you're going to want to take and clean the tip of your solder gun like we showed you uh, earlier with your brass sponge. You'll take your rosin core solder and you're going to put a drop of solder just on one of your copper dots. Once you do that, that allows you to put your copper or your uh, connector, your four pin connector over the top of that solder point that you just made. You'll want to hold it with your finger and just let the solder just melt out over the top of that first pin. Now, that, the ability that that's going to give you is to lock that pin in place so it won't move around as you just put a drop of solder on each connection, which we're going to do now. Now you can see that that four pin connector is securely fastened to your strip and you just want to make sure that, it, that none of those connections are loose. Now the ability that that gives us is this is the strip coming from our uh, LED controller, the RGB controller, and now we're going to be able to input our amplifier right onto those four pins and now our first connection's made. We're going to go ahead and repeat this step uh, for the output side of our LED amplifier, which is here. And then that what that'll do is then allow us to show you how to hook up the uh, red and black wire. So let's go ahead and repeat that step, and then we'll hook up the wire. Now that we need to insert our LED amplifier between our two strips, we've got our two four-pin connectors that are soldered onto the end of our strip so that our amplifier now will fit between them but we need to be able to connect the red and black uh, wires coming out of the LED amplifier and have them run back to our power supply. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a couple different ways you can do that. We're going to use our wire strippers again. We're going to strip our connection wire back. This is the connection wire that would run back to the power supply. Uh, there's several ways that you can connect it. You can use the lever nut connectors, which keep in mind that with each lever nut connector you're going to use one for each color of wire. So you would use one for the red wire and you would use one for the black wire. And then you would take your red and black wire from your RGB amplifier and you would insert the red wire in with the red wire from your power supply and snap it down. And then the same thing with the black wire, you would insert that in and snap it down and now you've got a connection uh, that runs back and gives you your power. Another option that you have is going to be to use your male and female, female barrel connectors. Now your male and female barrel connectors will plug together uh, so you can take the wire from your amplifier and plug it into one side and then the wire coming from your power supply into the other side. So you have two ways of connecting it. So once that connection is made all you have to do is take uh, and make sure that you look here clearly it's marked input so input would be the input from your RGB controller side where the lights are coming from and output would be the lights going out uh, to the end of your run and once you plug that in now you're set and this amplifier will then carry the signal every 16 feet and amplify it so that you don't lose signal and then your lights end up doing something different down the run in case you don't have the ability to solder on your connections as we've just shown you, we're going to show you how you can use the connectors that are included with your amplifier to make this connection. What you would do is take this connector here that comes with your LED amplifier. You would insert your chrome pin on the inside like that. And now this allows you to plug directly in to the end of your amplifier. You would repeat that process on the other side, plugging it in here as well. So now you've got your connection. And then you'll notice on the other end you have your snap connectors and that's where your tape will actually fit inside of these just like your, our normal snap connector for the RGB lights.
So you go ahead, you'll open it up, you'll take your LED strip, you'll slide it right inside underneath the chrome pins and snap it down. And now you've got your connection made for your amplifier. And you can just take it and there's enough room there to be able to loop it around and secure it to keep your lights close together. So just an alternative way to hook up and make your installation clean and neat. Okay, we've got our LED amplifier. We've taken a piece of our connection wire and we've run it all the way back to our power supply. So no matter where you are in your installation uh, with your LED amplifier, you need to have the wire that's coming off of the bottom of it connected to a wire running all the way back to your power supply. Once you do that, you'll then be able to take your uh, amplifier and you'll notice that on your amplifier there's a little black arrow that has the positive mark uh, marked on it. And you'll just want to make sure that your uh, LED strip also that has the 12 volt positive is going in and matching up with that. So we've got our input side here, so we're matching up our 12 volt positive on our strip to our positive mark on our amplifier. And then we're going to take our strip that's going out the other direction and we're going to do the same thing. We're going, to, we're going to match that up and we're going to plug it in. And now you can see that we've got uh, our light and that this is giving power to the next strip as well as as we go through these different color changing modes it's amplifying the signal from our controller. So you'll make this same connection with each additional reel that you connect uh, to this uh, particular controller. You'll put one of these amplifiers in. And what's nice is this is the smallest amplifier on the market today. There is nothing smaller. Your, your normal amplifiers used to be about the size of this controller. We've reduced that technology down to something that's not much bigger than your thumb. And it's very thin. It's uh, not even quite uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick by about an inch and a half long. And what that does is if you're doing lighting and crown molding or in a niche somewhere in a cove, it allows you to use the amplifier in a very small location without running a bunch of wires uh, to get you there. So that's how you uh, hook up the basics of an LED color changing system.